right, so let's take a quick look at um, Adobe Photoshop CS6 and the 3D tools. Now, I've already uh, made this uh, 3D uh, composite for us to work with, but I'm just going to show you kind of how some of these different features work. Um, the first um, navigation panel that you see up there for um, the 3D um, settings is what's called roll, but I'm going to skip to the second one here, rotate, and just show you that we can rotate in the 3D space here. I'll show you how roll works pretty much um, last. Uh, the next one is um, slide, which allows us to move the object around the canvas um, in our 3D environment. Uh, so we can do that. And here we can slide, which is where we're going to move it um, in the um, Z space so it can go back or um, forth, whereas before we were moving it um, left and right, up and down in the X and Y axis like we're used to. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the next one is um, camera, which um, I know I'm not necessarily doing it um, to its uh, full degree here, but um, with camera you can zoom in and out or you can um, actually move around the environment. And then this is a role where we can actually move the uh, 3D object itself. And uh, we're doing this in real time. And this is amazing. It used to um, really just not be able to get this performance. Even when I was working on, you know, a high-end Mac uh, with this, I was never able to do these um, 3D objects nearly as well as I would have liked to in CS5. So big improvement there on um, CS6, especially um, since I'm using the laptop here. Um, and then you have over in your um, 3D layer uh, just some different things you can do. We can actually change the um, extrusion depth um, very easily. Uh, we can um, alter things like our color, the actual type itself, things that were um, very difficult with the old 3D um, Reposé tool um, before. It was always a hassle, but now everything is a lot more intuitive um, and simple. Even if you're not used to working with 3D shapes or 3D typography, you can change whatever you need to um, really easily here. Um, so that's, that's great. That's very different from what we're used to in um, CS5. And even then, um, you know, that was leaps and bounds above CS4 and CS3. Here I'm just going to play with the extrusion a little bit so you can um, you know, see how that feature works. And then I'm going to simply uh, change the text here. Um, I don't even know what color I want this to be since it's on purple. I guess we'll go with Lakers colors. And I'll just adjust this here. Uh, nope. And... Yeah, that's actually looking kind of nice there. Probably go with that. All right, and you know, you just see um, some of the things you can do. Um, I'm going to change the type of um, shape here from um, the default shape just to another one of the presets. And then I'm just going to flip it back. I mean, and you see how seamless that is. I mean, again, you can never do it quite that well in um, CS5. Um, the performance and draw time is just fantastic, and um, I'm really happy with uh, what they've done here with the 3D tools in uh, Photoshop um, CS6. Again, if you've never gotten to work with 3D type, you can do things that you may have seen in tutorials for um, Cinema 4D, and a lot of the features here are a lot more like that and other 3D programs you might have used, like Blender. And they're just so much more intuitive, and you can go ahead and you can even use um, some of the Photoshop features you're used to like um, the um, layer effects features right here on the um, 3D object and it's going to work completely seamlessly in the same way you would with any other um, layer style that you would use and you can just get different things out of it very easily without a lot of effort. So again, um, I'm just really impressed with how far Adobe has come on this particular um, feature and how it opens it up to people who may have never gotten to um, use this type of um, object in their work before. Um, and now you can um, include 3D typography, 3D shapes and objects, logos in your um, workflow now. And I'm just going to actually show you another thing. You can adjust the light and shadows dynamically here and just decide what direction you want your light and shadows to come from. And I'm just going to align it here with um, our camera view in the space just because that's what makes sense to me right now. And wow. I mean, so there you go. Um, remember to go ahead and subscribe um, to the channel and um, 
again, thanks for watching.